And as you've noticed, I am not Brian Holmes. He is off today. That's your big news flash. But let's continue the show going back 24 hours for you. We brought you developing news out of the West Bonner County School District. A special meeting was set to discuss if Mr. Brandon Durst should be the next superintendent of the district there. And the meeting ended yesterday with no action. The board removed the item from the agenda by a vote of three to two. And long story short, new evidence was discovered by board members. And there are concerns now about, quote, improper and unprofessional discussions on the hiring of Durst between district employees and legal counsel. Now, the school board went on to say, quote, such discussions may have violated lawful procedures following the executive session of June 7th that now require further investigation. So the meeting was ended with no real action. Next action is subject to the call of the chair, so we'll keep tabs on that. But as we told you, folks in attendance, they were pretty unhappy. They wanted to see Durst become the new superintendent. And in the aftermath of the meeting, you're going to hear this in the background here, some booing, some insults, clearly some anger, clearly some emotion in the room. Now, one person was highlighted in social media pictures and videos from the event because of their status as an Idaho lawmaker. It's Representative Heather Scott. You'll see in the video right here that Heather Scott is in the video. She's talking and then she comes up and she says hello to the camera there on the Facebook Live. So you get an idea that folks were going around in the room and there's some frustration. Now the next part here was talked about online overnight and today. So let's get the record straight here. Representative Scott was escorted out of the building by police after some sort of a confrontation. According to Priest River Chief of Police Drew McLean, it was alleged that someone during the meeting reached over to take a picture of what Representative Scott had written down on a notepad. McLean wrote to us in an email the following, quote, This calls uh, Representative Scott to react and allegedly may have made physical contact with the citizen taking the picture. Due to the size of the crowd and for safety concerns, I had Representative Scott walk outside with me to defuse the volatile situation. So no, there was no arrest, no detainment, no citations, nothing like that. And any further investigation into the alleged physical contact by Representative Scott will be deferred to the Idaho State Police, the Idaho Attorney General, or another entity to avoid bias to the parties involved. And McLean told us in the email, K2B has also reached out to Representative Scott by phone and by text message. And at this time, we have not gotten a response.